Double October Diaries Day 3. Uh, long night last night, finishing up the reviews on the SDs that I got done. Uh, I did get it done, took a while. I was super exhausted last night, slept hard, still tired. My eyes were killing me last night. Um, but that doesn't stop the train. Um, unfortunately, uh, you know, there's still so much more work to do. And even more work came in today, and it actually is allowing me to call an audible. So originally, the next build in line uh, was going to be the Virtue. I'm calling an audible. I'm going with a, a simpler build first, going with the MG Exia. This literally just came in. I just opened the box. Um, I've never built this version. I only built the ignition mode and the um, amazing and uh, the other one, Dark Matter. So it's been a while since I've seen one of these. It's going to be interesting. Um, cool. The only thing, of course, I'm not going to worry that much about is the uh, LEDs, which I don't even think this one comes with, if I had to guess. Probably not. The other thing that sucks is, of course, this one comes with silver bladed, not chrome. And I thought about it because I have the, the blades from my old one. I thought about just disassembling it and pulling the chrome out, basically having a fresh version of Exia. I might do it, I don't know. And then if you don't like the green, you can have clear. So I'm going to both be building this and editing some stuff too, because I still have a couple videos I need to put out uh, on the normal front. Uh, I have a Taro video for, for Grimlock, and then I have a... Uh, I don't know. I have like a movie theory video, but that's going to take hours to put together. I don't know if I can focus on two different things. Taro is easy enough to, to do. One thing I can also do is basically start editing these videos because the Double October Diaries aren't going to be that bad. I can also get the Where's My Double October video set up and good to go because that won't require the intro just yet. So I think that's where I'll be today. Uh, working on this because of course I have to panel line everything first so that's why I bought the port type panel line markers I gotta think I might kill off one of these uh, in the next week or so so I'm swapping the Exia for the Virtue I think I'll put the Virtue later in the month so it'll go Exia, Astrea, Virtue Virtue's stand God I hope that comes in in time to get that done because uh, I feel like that's going to be a complicated video. And I would have liked to have done it the same time that I do the Virtue video. Um, in the meantime, uh, I'm basically just going to be building this. And basically, and I'll have a straight version of Exia for the first time in a while. Because I customized mine a few years ago with some extra paint and details. And a lot of people were kind of mad that I did that. Um... They're like, why are you showing it off like this? You know, it's, you, you added custom color to it. That doesn't count. It's not a real Exia. I heard you. I mean, many, many, many years later. And mind you, this is a standard Exia. And from what I thought, that there was a slight difference between them. I mean, I thought it was in the feet. So, minor unboxing as we go here. So, there's the little energy band dealy -hoos. Of course, all the gray, like you do. All the blue, nice shield part. Beam sabers, you guys should know, know I love beam sabers. Okay, uh, I need a Taro. And then the next thing I need to do is build out the promo for Double October as well. Been a while. Also, really old school instruction sheet. I mean, blue background. That lets you know how old. That lets you know how old a kid is when it has the blue background for the picture of the Gundam. And Exia is pretty. And for those who don't know, Exia was the the Exia that I've 
looked at before that was that will be featured in this year before this gets built um is the second ever Gundam kit ever built second ever I started with the double O riser and went from there so I did double O riser Exia strike I'll strike I should specificate I should always specificate guys I'll make sure I get this Taro video in here and also need to uh do I need to do that? I think I need to do that. Yeah, so I need to do time lapse videos. So I already have a couple time lapses. I'm not gonna time lapse this one. That's just extra footage I don't need. I needed the time lapse on the smaller things like the sets and the bust and the, uh, the SD kit and stuff like that to help fill that out because those aren't super long reviews in the first place. Okay, so I got an empty box there for all my trash, and also this is a rare occurrence for me to be building in the cave. I don't normally do that, uh, but I do need to kind of clear off some space here because otherwise I won't have anywhere to set anything as I build. It has gotten very, very complicated in here in the last couple months. Like, the desk is a giant mess. I need to put away a lot of stuff. Not to mention I have a lot of kits out at the moment. I'm trying to figure out if there's any kits I can put away. Because I have... Yeah, because I put those away already. I don't need those. So I can actually put that box back on the shelf. I don't need that out. I could technically put away virtually everything back into that detail. Clean that off because there's a... I don't... Hold on. Let me, let me just finish doing this and then I'll... Show you. So box on floor. So I mean, <laughs> stack of boxes from yesterday where I was digging for everything. Like I said, you know, I want to do. Need to get the where's my double O video done. Because uh, if I get that done, then that at least gives me the first video to to uh, be ready to go, and then the promo. One, this in order, one of those is first. I don't remember which one right now. I would think that the promo would be first. So, I need to do that. Because I think that has to debut next week. Yep. So, alright. I'm going to get to work. <sighs> so, it's been a few hours. Uh, and I've been editing. I just thought about it. Like I know you guys don't care about it on this channel. But I have clips on uh, my fourth channel, not technically third channel, fourth channel is the podcast. Anyways, why do I still have my forward light on? I don't need that on all this time. So either way, it's uh, reaction clips I've been editing. I need more content on that channel because I'm not live streaming there this week. So because that doesn't take super long, I'm just doing that watching podcasts at the same time. I do have Exia already in torso and head mode, so making decent progress. Ugh. Gotta go faster though. MGs are, MGs take a while. But because I'm not doing any painting, this is straight building. I'm not even using. I'm not gonna be putting on all those detail stickers. I've never liked those. Like they're just like, hey, look, here's a shit ton of detail that the anime never has. And like, because they've got the, uh, you got those like clear Tetron stickers that suck. And then a buttload of dry transfers, and I'm just... No, are those dry transfers? Yeah, because it's clear back. Yeah. Oh, but I need to get them walk around a bit. Oh, because I've been sitting here for too long. And my tailbone gets to hurting. So, I'm not editing any uh, Double October stuff yet. Except for, uh, I'll do the uh, finding, finding Everything video tonight, probably. Yeah, or in the morning. I could do it in the morning as well. So I get up with enough time that I, I can uh, get some editing done. Oh, I need something to drink. That's that's where I'm at. I need some water. Yep, I'm going to crush that box while I'm doing it. <sighs> Still tempted to pull the chrome parts out of those weapons. So that, you know, I at least have that. Because on 
the Dark Matter. It's either the Dark Matter or the Amazing. I uh, used uh, Silver Leaf to get that done. Yes, I understand I'm technically vlogging while doing this, but that's you know, the whole point of this. It's a double October vlog. You know, I do still have to make dinner for the wife even when she gets home. In theory. She doesn't feel like picking anything up. Alright, and meat is falling. Good, good, good. Okay, yeah. Wipe that off. Okay, so I still need water. That's what I came in here for. I got a bottle of water right here on the counter, don't I? Yes. Huzzah. Okay. So that's that's something. Right there. Move my ice chest out of the way. So the funny thing is because Australia and Exia are so similar Gundam wise. Yeah, I'm basically gonna build a couple different Exias this, this week. Uh I'm doing the Australia after this? Yeah, do the Australia. That's gonna take a while because that's got all those Type F parts, which are absurd. <sighs> which I did do sort of an unboxing. Not a full on unboxing, but sort of an unboxing. <sighs> I will say, uh, building here at my desk is kind of nice, but only in the fact that I'm at a decent height. I'm still leaning forward a bit, but not like I do. Uh, when I'm in the living room, I'm leaning on my legs, you know, elbows on my knees, you know, a table out in front of me. <sighs> now, if I had another spot to do all my computer work, that'd be great. <laughs> be like the old days. Two different desks, side by side, you know. Oh, well, so that's it for now. Uh, more progress here in a bit. Many hours later including dinner time and getting back to work, I have an upper torso. Actually, Exia has an upper torso. I already seem to have that. Um, also, I have feet. I forgot how dumb and complicated these feet actually are. Why double O? Why give it reverse flipping toes and then a really weak ankle joint? It's so stupid. Also, why use two polycaps instead of just engineering a new polycap? Oh, right money. Right, so I got about another hour in me. Hopefully I can get the legs mostly done. The legs are like the most complicated thing on any 00 model. They're just too many layers. All the layers. So many layers. So on and so forth.